So here we have the Vauxhall Astra on a 67 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you inside the boot and then we'll hop in and run through some controls from there. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors. Plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. In the middle, you can see the total miles for the car, which are 24,526. Above that, we have a digital readout for the speedometer. You can change the information that's displayed there by using buttons on the steering wheel for various bits of trip computer and car information. Above that, we have the fuel gauge and cool and temperature gauges. We back out to the steering wheel. The buttons I was using just a moment ago are here with the volume for the stereo and then stereo controls continue just here. Over on the left-hand side, we have cruise control and speed limiter. Uh, this car's got a forward collision warning system. Uh, there's a video showing what that is and how that works on our website and on our YouTube channel as well. Over in the center, we have the touch screen for the car. So this is where you can, amongst other things, you can access your radio. You'll see we have FM, AM, and DAB radio. Uh, you can access your own music as well. Nothing is connected at the moment. You can connect up a USB device and you can stream your music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio as well. If we go back to the home screen, you'll see you have all your options. So you can pair your phone from here. You can connect up certain uh, voxel friendly apps to the car and you can access your satellite navigation. There's a full video showing how this system works again on our website and YouTube channel. Working our way down with the main volume for the stereo, we then have air conditioning. So you can determine the temperature, fan speed and direction of the air. This button turns your air conditioning off in this case or back on again. Uh, you can turn your rear heated screen on. Hitting that button will divert the car's air conditioning to the front screen for you. And then just here, we've got a button to put the car into sport mode. This one turns on or off the lane departure warning system. Uh, we can turn the traction control on and off, and this one turns on and off the parking sensors. Finally, we have a six speed manual gearbox and a 12 volt charging system. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.